Hallelujah. Hello, everyone. I am Brandy, and I am back to read the Word of God with you. I am in 2 Thessalonians, the book of 2 Thessalonians. I'm going to read chapter 2 today. And I did. I have not, like I said, I have not read through this before I, I, I read it with you guys today. So we're going to be reading it again together and seeing what the Lord has to say about this thing. I thank God for you guys. I thank God that He allows me to and well, it graces me, I guess, to do this thing, to get on here and read the word. And I know there's not many people listening right now, but maybe down the line, God has started opening this, this up. Uh, I thank God that he's given me courage and boldness. I thank him for his boldness today because this thing is not easy and it's not, it's not necessarily fun to do, to uh, read the word of God pretty much with a you know with a pure heart and just loving him and and um doing it for just just the sheer joy of it it's not always easy i'm gonna be honest with you i, I, I don't i don't like reading it on this type of uh, format but god has me doing it so i just be obedient and keep on rolling but most of the time i don't even i'm gonna be honest with you, i don't even want to do it like this i love reading the word but i don't want to read it uh with you all uh but not like that, not like in a negative way, but it's just some things that come with it is not, uh, it's not fun sometimes. So, so, but anyway, but I just do it and, and keep on moving. So we have first, uh, second Thessalonians chapter two, we're going to read the whole chapter and here it is. Verse one. Now, brethren, concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together to him, we ask you. Not to be shaken in mind or troubled, either by spirit or by word or by letter, as if from us, as though the day of Christ had come. Meaning, don't be deceived. Don't, don't, the day of Christ has not come yet. He said, don't let nobody deceive you in your spirit. Don't let nobody trouble you in your mind or be shaken in your mind or be troubled in your mind. Don't let your spirit be uh, uh, shaken or, or deceived by a word or by a letter. Verse three, it says, let no one deceive you by any means for that the, for that day will not come unless there's stipulations here, unless the falling away comes first. Second, the man of sin is revealed. The lawless one is revealed, right? The son of perdition. That's who he is. The, the man of sin is revealed. He's the son of perdition who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worshiped so that he sits as God uh -oh, in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Verse five, do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things? Six, and now you know what is restraining. Now you know what is restraining that he may be revealed in his own time. For the mystery of the lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restraints, oh God, will do so until he is taken out of the way. My God. Oh God. And then the lawless one who will be revealed, whom the Lord will consume with the breath, oh my God, of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. Glory be to God. The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan with all power signs and lying wonders 
Hallelujah. That's another reason why you have to have the spirit of the living God, because then you'll be able to see. You'll be able to understand that these signs that are being taken place, that these these powers that are are that are on display when this time comes, that you will know that it's false. My God. And with all unrighteous deception among those who perish. Oh God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because they did not receive the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this reason, God will send them strong delusion, strong lying wonder, strong lying signs, strong lying power, strong falseness from Satan, that they should believe the lie the father of lies. Satan is the father of lies. That they all may be condemned who did not believe the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But we are bound to give thanks to God always for you, brethren, Beloved by the Lord, because God, from the beginning, the very beginning, this is me adding, I'm talking now, from the very beginning, chose, hallelujah, you for salvation. Once again, God knows who is his. He know, he know from the very beginning, he knows the end from the beginning, he knows who is going to get saved. He knows who's going who's gonna to love him, who's, who's going to enter into his kingdom. He knows all of that. He knows who's going to live unrighteous. He knows those who's going to live in rebellion. It says from the very beginning, he chose you for salvation through sanctification by the spirit and belief in the truth to which he called you by our gospel for the obtaining of the glory of, of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which you were taught, whether by the word or our epistle. Oh, God. Now may God, may, I'm sorry. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and our God and Father who has loved us and given us everlasting consolation Glory to God. Consolation and good hope by grace. Let him comfort your heart and establish you in every good word and work. Oh, God. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and keep reading uh, chapter uh, three. Finally, brother, pray for us. Finally, brother, let's intercede for one another that the word of the Lord may run swiftly. Glory to God. And be glorified just as it is with you and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. There's a such thing as that. There is a such thing as that. Hallelujah. And it's, a, it's, it's funny how the, 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 I'm seeing the words here. But anyway, for, for, for not all have faith. Lord, let us be delivered. Hallelujah, from unreasonable and wicked men. Father God, for, hallelujah, for, for they don't have a, they don't, all, all do not have faith. But the Lord is faithful, who will establish you and guard you from that, from the evil one. And we have confidence in the Lord concerning you. Hallelujah, both that you do and will do the things we command. Glory be to God. Let us do the things that your word command, O oh God. Let us do the things that your spirit command. But we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you withdraw from every brother who walks disorderly and not according to the traditions which, receive, which he received from us. For you yourselves know how you ought to follow us. For you, for we were not disorderly among you, 
nor did we eat anyone's bread free of charge. But we worked with labor and toil night and day that we might not be a burden to any of you. Hallelujah. Not because we do not have authority, but be, but it to make ourselves an example. Glory be to God. An example of how you should follow. How you should follow us. For even when we were with you, we commanded you this. If anyone will not work, neither shall he eat. For we hear that there are some who walk among you. Hallelujah. In a disorderly manner. Glory to God. Let me turn this page here. In a disorderly manner, not working at all, but are busy bodies. Glory to God. Hallelujah. They, they nosy in other people's biz, business. Glory to God. Now, those who are such, we command and exhort through our Lord Jesus Christ that they work in quietness and eat their own bread. Hallelujah. But uh, as you... But as for you, brethren, do not grow weary in doing good. And if you, if anyone does not obey our word in this epistle, note that person and do not keep company with him, that he may be ashamed. You do not count him as an enemy. Don't count him as an enemy. Uh huh. But admonish, admonish him as a brother. Now. May the Lord of peace get himself give you peace always in every way. The Lord be with you all. The salutation of Paul with my own hand, which I which is a sign in every epistle I write. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Glory be to God. Thank you for this word, holy God. Thank you, Father God. That was uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. I just went ahead and read uh, read 3 too. Because uh, 2 was kind of short. But but this, this book, I, I say read it again. Especially uh, chapter 2. Because it, it tells you about things to come. Uh, how we should uh, carry ourselves in that manner. And what God is going to do. Hallelujah. When the, the, uh, uh, the father of lies show up. So I bless you guys. I pray that this word has been enriching and, 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 and encouraging and blessing. And, and just know that when you're when you're God, God's, he has you. When you have his son, he has you. When you have his spirit, he has you in his hand. He keeps you. He's holding you. He won't let you go astray. He won't let the hallelujah the enemy have his way. Glory to God in your life. You just got to come back. Hallelujah. The Bible says the persecution and tribulation is going to come. Glory to God. But God has you. He's going to keep you. Glory to God. In those times, in those situations. It's, it's manifested evidence, the Bible says, that you are part of the kingdom of God. So we thank God for his goodness today. We thank God for his grace through his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And I bless you guys. Choose Christ today. I love you. I don't know when I'll come back, but that was uh second thessalonians i did one two and three i love you guys be blessed have a great weekend pray i pray that your week glory to god is 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 strong in the lord i pray for provision i pray for uh, prosperity i pray for increase of hallelujah i pray that your faith grows exceedingly this week hallelujah i thank you for every seed that you sown Glory to God in your life that it produces a harvest in the name of Jesus. I command glory to God increase glory to God in every capacity of your life, not just financial, but in every capacity, be it mental, spiritual, emotional, character wise increase. God is increasing our character. He's increasing glory to God, our emotions. Uh, yes. And our personality. He has those things. He's t hallelujah. Taking on our countenance. He loves us in all, all those areas. And so I'm asking for abundance and increase in all of those areas. A whole man. You want to be a whole man or woman of God. You don't want to be whole over here and incomplete over there. You want every aspect, every capacity that you walk in to be whole in Christ. Glory to God. And that's what I'm asking for myself too. In Jesus' name, I'm asking that thing. Let me behold God. Yay, God. 
in Jesus' name. Sin no more. That God said, sin no more, for your sins have made you whole. Don't sin any, any longer. Hallelujah, for your faith has made you whole. Glory to God. I'm sorry, I messed that up. Your faith has made you whole. Sin no more. Glory to God. In Jesus' name, I thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen.